As per the recent updates from NASA, the Psyche mission enters to its final design phase. In this short video we are trying to brief the main objectives of the mission and different scientific instruments that are used for achieving the main objectives. Psyche mission is an orbiter mission that will explore the origin of planetary cores by studying a metallic asteroid named 16 Psyche. This massive asteroid has a diameter of about 200 km and thought to be comprised mostly of metallic iron and nickel, similar to Earth's core. The metallic core inside the Earth lies unreachably far below the Earth's rocky mantles and crusts and making it difficult to explore more. As per the scientists, it is believed that asteroid Psyche may be a remnant core of an early planetesimal, that was formed during the formation of the solar system. After that, it might have collided with other planetary bodies that then stripped off the rocky mantle, leaving this metal core in place. Scientists takes this mission as an opportunity to investigate the metallic building blocks of the planet formation. Psyche mission has five primary objectives. First objective is to determine whether Psyche is a differentiated core or if it is primordial and melted metal. Second objective is to determine the relative ages of the multiple regions of Psyche's surface. Another important objective is to determine the presence of same light elements that are expected in the Earth's high-pressure core. Next objective is to confirm whether Psyche was formed under the condition more oxidizing or more reducing than Earth core. The final goal is to characterize the Psyche's topography. To achieve these objectives, the spacecraft will carry different instruments like multispectral imager, gamma-ray and neutron spectrometer, a magnetometer and an X-band radio telecommunications system. Let us try to figure out the basic functionalities of each device. The main purpose of multispectral imager is to acquire data that is needed to characterize the shape, topography, geology, and surface compositional variations of asteroid psyche. This device provides the high-resolution images using filters to discriminate between psyche's metallic and silicate constituents. Next instrument is a Gamma Ray and Neutron Spectrometer, or GRNS. Gamma Ray and Neutron Spectrometer is required to perform to geochemistry investigation and to understand the Psyche's elemental composition. This is achieved by measuring the gamma rays and neutron emissions from a planetary surface. When high-energy cosmic rays collide with an atom on the asteroid's surface, collision removes the neutrons from the atom's nucleus. Some of the dislodged neutrons can then collide with the nuclei of other atoms, giving energy to them. When these nuclei return to their normal energy state, they can give off gamma rays. Some elements like potassium, uranium, and thorium are naturally radioactive and give off gamma rays as they decay, but all elements can be excited by collisions with cosmic rays to produce gamma rays. Spectrometer measures the energy of each gamma ray and neutron that it detects from asteroid surface. The energy of a gamma ray coming from asteroid's surface is a kind of signature of the element from which it came. For example, oxygen nuclei can emit gamma rays of a certain energy, while iron atoms emit gamma rays of a completely different energy. Next instrument is a magnetometer. This is a dual fluxgate gradiometer whose goal is to detect and measure the remnant magnetic field around the asteroid. If Psyche is indeed a planetary core, scientists expect that it should have a detectable magnetic field. However, the strength of the magnetic field can vary by orders of magnitude depending on the formational history of Psyche. Next instrument in the payload is an X-band radio telecommunications system for radio science investigation. As the spacecraft traverses through the space near asteroid, variations in the planet's interior causes variations in spacecraft velocity. Based on these variations, this instrument will measure Psyche's gravity field. The analysis of the gravity field together with the topography derived from onboard imagery, gives insights on the lithospheric and crustal structure of the asteroid. These are the main instruments that will be carried by the Psyche spacecraft. In addition to these science instruments, Psyche is scheduled to fly as a technology demonstration of deep space optical communication. New laser communication technology encodes data in photons rather than radio waves to communicate between a probe in deep space and Earth. Using light instead of radio allows the spacecraft to communicate more data in a given amount of time. NASA headquarters in Washington has approved the start of the final design and fabrication phase of the mission. 
Since no other spacecraft has visited to a metal asteroid before, it is so much exciting to see the progress of this mission. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to receive the notification of new interesting videos.